Hey, thanks for joining us in this episode. This episode's all about red cedars. What are they? How can you use them to increase your habitat? Uh, what are the pros and cons, et cetera, et cetera. More importantly, how do you take a little tree like this and take it from this, this, in five, six, seven years old? This is a six-year-old tree. So stay with us. We're, this episode's all about red cedars. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses, a podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and being a steward of the land. Hey, if you like what these two dumbasses are doing, please hit the like button and subscribe today. All right, thanks for joining this episode about red cedars. This is Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. Um, Tim's not going to be on the episode today. My wife is going to be supporting. And uh, we've got a hundred red cedars that we're going to be planting today. But uh, we thought this would be a great uh, episode to share how we've used red cedars, uh, the pros and cons to red cedars, and uh, why, we're, why we're believers. However, I would be the first to tell you that uh, from a forest standpoint, you know, diversity is super important, but uh, certainly red cedars play a part in that. So a little bit about red cedars. The, again, these were planted uh, six, six years ago. You saw that they started about this tall. Red cedars um, will grow 40 to, up to 40 to 50 feet um, in height. And at the diameter, their diameter will be anywhere from eight to 24 feet and it really is dictated by how much space they can spread out. So keep that in mind when you're planting them. These are planted 12 to 15 feet apart and that's what we're going to do with these seedlings is plant those about uh, 12 to 15 feet apart, uh, maybe a little bit closer. I want them taller than, than squattier. But uh, let's talk about some of the pros to red cedars. One, they're pretty fast growing tree. Uh, one to two feet a year you're going to find in the first three years there you're not going to see much height on them uh, because they really focus on getting their root system developed in the first several years anyway and then they're just going to shoot up after that the biggest advantage that we found living out here it's one of the few trees that we can plant that we don't have to cage in uh, and the deer leave alone uh, again, we planted 200 of these trees six years ago, and uh, I think we lost one to a deer uh, so far. So uh, that would never happen with this uh, a, a pine or a fir uh, tree of any kind. They just, just cannot resist and rip them up. So they're great for, they're great for uh, wind breaks. They're great for snow breaks, and um, for us, we use them, we live along a gravel road here, so uh, we're trying to develop some screening and some privacy. So they're super great for that because how fast they grow and how well they provide. Um, from a habitat standpoint, uh, they do produce little berries that uh, the birds and animals will eat, uh, but their biggest contribution from a habitat standpoint is uh, nesting and bedding uh, for animals. Rabbits, deer love to bed around them. Um, birds love to nest in them etc cetera, etc cetera. so stay with us you're gonna see us uh, planting some planting red cedars today and uh, we'll include that in this if you have any questions and comments you know put them down below uh, remember to subscribe if you like what we're doing and uh, stay tuned we're gonna be planting some red cedars all right this is gonna be one of the areas that I want to plant some red cedars there's a few a few uh, mature red cedars right here but this is uh, there's a gravel road behind you here behind the camera and uh, as cars pass by my woods um, I'm gonna try to create some more screening here again there's uh, I'll, I'll show some pictures of uh, where there's not red cedars how open the woods are um, however where there are red cedars it's pretty blocked off and screened really well so over the years I'm gonna plant some red cedars through here and I'm hoping that uh, this this develops more these uh, red cedars grow and uh, that that my woods become screened off from the uh, from the gravel road so look at that video again one big advantage of the the red cedars uh, is how fast they grow and and the screening that they provide all right I'm here with much better 
post than <laughs> Tim, but this is Mrs. Dumbass. Uh, and, no, no, I am the wife of a dumbass. Let's get that clear. And I have uh, included uh, Sam this morning because she did all the ordering of the trees and whatnot. But uh, Sam, where did you order these trees? How much they cost? Um, so these are little red cedars. Um, they're about a foot tall. I ordered these from the DNR uh, State Nursery. Um, there's a website. We'll include that information at the end. Um, where you can order these. Um, you need to plan ahead, order a year in advance. Um, so when you get them shipped or would pick them up that uh, they are ready to go. Um, you can see we planted some um, here on the farm several years ago and they're done quite well. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna do it again. Okay, so you ordered them from the state nursery. Um, they take about, if they have them in stock, about a week. And then we can go pick them up, or believe it or not, they will mail them to you. They will ship them to you for, I think it's like 10 to $12. It's Come in kind of like a super easy wet paper plastic lined bag with instructions on it. So we're going to plant these. So what's, um, what's the most important thing uh, when you receive these? Take them out of the bag, and then what do you do with them? Most important thing is to get them out of the bag and into some water right away until you can get them in the ground. And then when you plant them, uh, what, what's the strategy on planting here? Well, I guess we've got two different strategies here. Uh, ways to do it. We've got a spade, the old-fashioned way, and we've got a dibble stick here. And we got the dibble stick from uh, Tim. It's a uh, dibble stick bully tools. And if you Google it, it's uh, the first thing that came up when I Googled it anyway. But oh, okay. uh, we're going to give this a go. He, he swears by it. I like and uh, I think... Anything that uh, helps you plant 100 trees quicker is going to be better. <sighs> yep, at least it's 100, not 250 like we did last time. Um, <laughs> it's, you know, until we get to the planting here, so when we do plant, what, what's kind of the watch outs uh, when we plant these trees? So we're going to make sure that we get that root all the way in the ground. That tree is going to be straight up and down. Get enough room that that root has space to grow. And then watering your trees, babying them, um, make sure that they stay hydrated. Um, little trees need a lot of love and a lot of water. Okay. So. All right. So yep. you're going to be uh, seeing us plant some uh, some trees. We got about 100. Well, we got 98 left because we planted left. a couple <laughs> over over here. Yeehaw. But uh, our plan is is to finish the screening that we started six years ago. We want to just kind of tweak it and and provide more screening here. And then uh, as I as I said earlier, along along our woods, uh, so people can't, as they drive by, I provide some screening. And then if we have any uh, trees left over, we're going to go into an area where I did some hinge cutting uh, several years ago, and uh, I want to put some trees in there and see if I can create some uh, bedding habitat using the red cedars. So, so stay, uh, stay involved with us here. We're going to plant some red cedars. Thank you. When planting, uh, your trees. Several steps to remember. Um, plant that root deep into the ground, give it enough space depending on the size of the tree. Um, make sure that tree is secure into the ground, that, that there's no air that can get to that root system. Uh, temperature um, will kill it faster than anything, so make sure it's secure into the ground. Um, also make sure that you're planting these trees or anything that you're planting, you want to think about that ahead of time and what does it look like when it's mature, when that tree is 20, 30, 50 feet tall. Um, a lot of people plant trees by their houses and they regret that later when those trees get mature and they have to cut them down because of the root system. So um, just something to think about. Okay, we are uh, in an area that I want to use some red cedars to promote some bedding for some deer habitat. Um, as you can see, I've done some, in the past, done some hinge cutting in this. I've gone away from hinge cutting. If you want a little more uh, information on hinge cutting and browse, um, you know, see this uh, link up above. We did a video about a year ago, Tim and I, about uh, browse and uh, hinge cutting. But the wife and I are going to uh, put in some trees. The, the good news here is, is we're on bucket number two, and the trees look uh, significantly bigger than the first ones. Uh, these were more like the ones that we planted uh, the first 200 um, that you saw those growth in six years. And uh, we're in a nice area that we don't get to spend a lot of time with. So uh, we're excited. 
Um, I'm going to put some closure to this now, but uh, I'll include some video of us planting these trees in this, uh, in this hinged area. then be, be safe, safe have, have fun, fun and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors thanks for watching thanks for listening or watching our show we have some exciting topics and guests coming up we ask that you subscribe to our channel on youtube and follow us on twitter instagram and facebook we look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics questions and comments this is two dumbasses signing off until next time be, be safe, safe have, have fun, fun and, and get, get outdoors, outdoors.